Hi, I'm Lisa Welchel, and you're watching usmagazine.com. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. I just had another one of my brilliant ideas. The most common question I get is, uh, do we still keep in touch? And the, question, the truth is, yes, we do. I, I've seen all of them within the last year, and I make, I'm very intentional about being together, and we have uh, over the years. The reason nobody knows anything about us behind the scenes is because we were so boring behind the scenes. And we all got along, we liked each other, we didn't have big contract disputes that does not make for good television. There's nothing to write about in Us Weekly. And so we just kind of uh, were flew under the radar and we're still not getting into trouble. So maybe if I want a little bit more coverage in your magazine, I need to get in trouble a little bit more. I'm gonna have to just log that behind my, my memory. I think the scripts were more fun, um, the writers and everything, when the years that Cloris Leachman w was on and George Clooney was on during that time. And um, the, the truth is he was, you know, he was kind of in his 20s, he was young, he was gawky, he was so much fun. But he's really aged quite well. And back then, it was kind of fun to have like a big brother around. But I don't know, maybe I was just not, uh, not smart or not thinking ahead because I did not anticipate what he would grow into. And I think if I had, I would have worn makeup to rehearsal a little bit more often. So I took 25 years off after Facts of Life to uh, uh, raise my kids. And then I did Survivor, not certainly not to get back into television, just because I loved the show. But then my kids grew up and I thought, well, I still have some life left into me. What do I want to do? And decided I still loved acting. And I was really thrilled when I was sent this script for, for Better or For Worse from Hallmark. I was thrilled to do the movie because the script was really adorable and it was classy, it wasn't cheesy. But then when they said that they were gonna hire Kim Fields to play my assistant, I just thought, oh man, that just sounds too good to pass up. And it really was so much fun to work together again. It was just like old times, except I think maybe I had some perspective and so I could appreciate it all, all the more.